Hello and welcome to a Farming Simulator 15 mod review with FS Panda Mushroom. How you doing everybody? Okay, what we've got for you today is the John Deere 7180 Forage Harvester. There you go. Let's have a look straight in the shop for you. Here it comes under Harvesters and it's a John Deere. Obviously, 7180 forage harvester. It will set you back £215,000 with £95 a day maintenance. It's got uh, 279 kilowatt of power or 380 horsepower, whichever you want to call it. And it's for chopping maize or grass to silage. Bmax 70 kilometers per hour attaches back only for trailer with lower drawbar or rotating stool mm -hmm. and then you have the head which is the Kemper Kemper 460 plus cutter head which is £29,000 to buy £29 a day maintenance requires 74 kilowatt or 100 horsepower six meters wide and it's suitable for the John Deere 7180 and it chops corn chops maize foldable chopping animation speed limit 10k okay let's have a look at her. there it is yeah, it looks a nice model it is washable um, let's just have a quick flick around. Can't clip through it. Magic stuff. Obviously, I've put the head on already. There you go. Looks a nice model. It's uh, nicely detailed. It's got, as I say, it's washable. Got dirt skin on it. Let's jump inside. Let's have a quick look inside. It's fairly basic inside. But that's all right. That's not too bad. There's the display, and you got mirrors that you can see out of both of them. <laughs> you can't say that on many things in farming. Okay, let's just put the hood back up for you. Let's say you can see it says unfold head or lower head. Let's just start it up. Don't sound too bad. If we go forward, you can see that on the screen to the top right is. I don't know if it's registering in. Yeah, it must be in miles per hour, so it must convert it over. So if you're in kilometers per hour, it should change it to that. Because I'm in miles per hour, it's leveling it out to. Yeah. So there you go. Right, obviously, lower head is V, unfold is X. You've got press G for other things. Obviously, you've got turn on harvester for B, which starts munching away. And you've got your pipe out, which is O. You've got your normal one, two, three for your indicators. F for your lights. You've got lights on your pipe. Lights on the front. Neat. Right, it says it can hook up to hitch uh, trailers. So let's just have a look at a trailer. It says it's got a low hitch. I have tested it. It can basically take any of these. Um, let's put it on the Flit Eagle. And I have also tested it if you wanted to. It 
it can also use um, the heads from the crone. So if you wanted to put the disco head on or the other head, then it will accept it and it will work. But, you know. Okay, so we just come to the field. Press B. Okay, select it first, then press B. It, you can't put it on iron worker if you've got a trailer on the back. But as you can see in the bottom right hand corner hood, it is registering chaff. You can't see it at the moment, but you can. It's right tucked in the back corner. Okay, let's just dismiss it, on up the trailer. Got beacons if you want beacons, yes. It's still got an epoxy all. <laughs> okay, let's press H, see if there's no funky things going on with the H. A hired worker. Let's jump out. Let's just jump into this one. There you go, shooting it in there. So it's working as it should. It looks nice. It's a nice alternative to the crone. It's working well. It's not as expensive as a crone, but obviously it doesn't. It's not as wide as a crone because it's only six meter. But it's a nice machine. So it's a John Deere. Let's just check out the speed. Let's just check out the speed. Sorry about that. <laughs> These things do happen. Never mind. So you can get up to 25 mile an hour with it. That's a top whack of it. So yeah, have a go. Why not? So this is the John Deere Forage Harvester 7180. As I say, have a go. This is FS Panda Mushroom. Thank you for watching. Take care.